Hi, everybody. Wendy here with Love and Stampin'. I'm so excited that you're here with me today. And I'm here with my friend, Tracy Bish. Hi, we, everyone. Uh, we are so excited to be here. And we are going to share a really fun class with you. Tracy's actually a designer on my creative vault. And she makes absolutely beautiful 3D projects and fun fold cards. And for over a year now, right, Tracy, you've been with the vault for over a year since it started. Yep. Yeah. So we have decided to take the last six months of classes, January 2024 through June 2024, and bundle them into a package for those of you who don't want to become a member of the Creative Vault. We have so many cool classes to offer every single month, but we totally understand that not everybody wants to subscribe and be a member of something. So we've bundled these together and we are going to go through and show you all of the projects, all 18 of them. Tracy has them here today to show you. So she's going to show you all 18 of the projects and you can purchase this class for the first two weeks that it's available, which is from today, June 26th through July 10th for $19. After that, it will go up to $39 because this is a very, I mean, it's really valued more than $39 to be honest, but we have come up with this as a fun way to share some of our classes and get it out there. So all of these classes are recorded by Tracy where there's videos, there's PDFs for everything that she's going to show you today. And we are just so excited to bring this opportunity to you for you to purchase this bundle. So uh, let's get into it. We're going to show you the projects now. Okay, so now we are going to show you all of these amazing projects that Tracy has gathered for us. So we're, are we just going to start with um, January? You know what, before we, before we actually get into that, let's just, why don't you introduce yourself and just tell a little bit about yourself, like where you live and stuff like okay. that um so i live in victoria australia which is the bottom state um in the main island uh it's a very very small town very rural uh, mainly uh sheep cows you know all the the dairy farmers um very very small town and we love it because it's so nice and quiet we also have a business in town. Um, we're actually only one of two or three businesses. There's a pub and a health facility, and we are the general store and post office. So we know just about everyone in town. I had to, I'm giggling because I'm like, every town has to have a bar and a general store. Like, <laughs> well, well, I will say the pub's not even open at the moment. It's, it's, <laughs> In new hands at the moment and we're waiting on the new publicans so yeah very very small town um and, which... you, and we should mention because you're in like this warm sweater so in australia it's winter yes yeah so that's why like i'm in a t-shirt my door is open the birds are chirping and i've got the heater on uh it was <laughs> minus four degrees yesterday um, I think it's, we're supposed to get rain, so it's a little bit warmer. I think it's two degrees this morning. Oh, yeah, very chilly, but my favorite time of the year. <laughs> yeah, we're opposite like that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. Okay, um, so yeah, I think that's that's it. Yeah. And you live with your husband, and you my have two kids, two adult kids. Don't you? But yeah. Yeah. And I'm crafting. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So go ahead and let's reveal January projects. Like okay. they're so cute. So January was, um, I try and stick with um, sweets or bundled products. January, we actually worked on Valentine's Day and we used the Be Happy sweet I think it is so this is a little uh, mailbox which so cute it still has the treats inside it that's how long it's been sitting here for but really cute very cute so there's three projects every single month um a mixture between fun fold and 3d yeah 
second one here is a little pouch. So cute. Let me know if I'm not showing. No, it's perfect, actually. She's going to try to open it for us. You don't have to if it won't open easy. Anyway, there's, there's treats inside. Okay. So. Cute. And then... And you could totally put like money in there or anything. Could, yeah, anything at all. And what I love about all the projects is you don't have to use that same set or the same DSP. You could sort of swap it around yep. and do what you have in your stash. Right. So the next one was a um, never ending card, which is super fun. Oh, so cute. Okay. Um, I love that. It looks like they're kissing. <laughs> and it just keeps opening. Yeah. Very, very easy, actually, to create. So easy. I got to say, I made one of these cards, and for years, I, I saw them, and I was like, I'm never making one of those. And then I made it, and I'm like, you got to be kidding me. This is so much yeah. easier than I thought. So yeah. that's January's projects. Gear so we understand it's not Valentine's, right? So right now when we're sharing this with you but fourth of july is right around the corner in the u.s and make an american post mailbox. i mean how cute would that be so whatever you have in your stash you know we really want to encourage people to use their stash we know the economy is rough for everybody um even over there in australia right like you guys are right behind it's us yeah yeah so this is great opportunity to get a class for inexpensive that helps you just use all of your stash up. Okay, let's do February. Okay, um, so February, and I didn't write down all the sweets or stamps that I used, but That's this okay. one, um, the one with all the hidden dies. So cute. So this is just a little box that you can pull off and it actually has little treats inside. So, so cute. And that gorgeous um, specialty paper there as well. Yeah, it's beautiful. So the next two are cards. And again, this is using that set that shows a, um, a hidden message underneath. So cute. I love it. And it's just using the same DSP and stamp set for all projects. But, and again, hidden message underneath that stamped image. And so, opens. You know, that would make a really cute gift card holder too. Like you, yes. could, you could even tape around the bottom of that flap and have just the top open and put a gift card. Absolutely. Yep. So many Very ideas. And just to reiterate. Yes, or on the top. Yep. yep. All of these projects have a PDF and videos. So yes. if you're a PDF person, great. You'll be able to print a PDF for every single month. If you're a video person like I am, like I tend to lean on more video than I do PDF, then you have PDF access also, or video access also. Okay, go ahead, March. And just quickly too, with your PDF, if there's something that's a little bit difficult, there are diagrams in that PDF that will help explain that that certain part that we're doing as well. So yes, just to make I, I mean, to Tracy will never toot her own horn because it's not who she is, but she is one of the most talented crafters as far as like designing and coming up with like 3D and fun fold and the way Tracy you put it all in a pdf is fantastic like her diagrams are awesome so thank you I try and make it so if you're reading it you're going to be able to understand without watching the video um you still understand what I'm doing so yeah, yeah just to make it easy so this is March March yes yeah. So this actually opens up and it's a box fold card. So like that. Cute. Oh my gosh, so cute. cute. Yeah. So cute. That is one for March. The second one has a belly band that comes off. And these, 
Uh, balloons are absolutely gorgeous. They are. That is beautiful. That belly band is gorgeous. And then we open oh. it up. And this sort of sticks out. Yes. Can you tip it like flat, maybe? Like, yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah, so cute. So you could set that up. That would yep. be so cute in my, like, like if I gave that to my niece for baby shower or something, you know, that would be cute in a baby's room sitting on a shelf. Yeah, it's, so it sits up so it really sticks out and and shows how pretty that is. Cute. So that is the next one. Okay, now and we're in April. So no, this is oh, the no. third one. Oh, third one in March. Yep, so a little treat box that is using that same die set with a little so heart. That, is that a flap that opens? Yes. Oh, so cute. Look at it's that. And little treat inside. So we have, I don't think we have little Skittles boxes like that in the U.S. Do you not have Skittle boxes? No. We do things that I think you guys will have. And well, I thought Skittles was just a, an everyday we thing. We have Skittles, but I don't think we have little boxes like that. Yeah. Well, we I'm have sure. bags. Okay. Not anything would fit. We have like the little mini bags. The, the like you know they're like a three by three yeah okay. that you could put in there I mean you could still put anything else in there but that's so cute, cute little size box so you, you find some sort of treat to pop inside you know what would be cute in there too is like lip gloss like lip mm -hmm. glosses and stuff like that yeah yeah well that you'd fit a few in those yeah it's two or three so really yeah. cute. all right so April yeah yes um, April, we have two fun fold cards. So this is a flap card that opens up. Like, oh my gosh, so cute. I love these little donuts. It's the ice cream and donuts. Yep. Who doesn't you know? love a donut? So that's something a little bit different. Yeah. The second card opens up and this is like a daunting card but it really isn't that hard no it's not that hard that's that is actually in one of my mega fun folds also yeah yep. so yeah it's it's a really fun impressive card like when your recipient opens those it's like whoa like wow. it's a, yeah God, yeah for sure and then the third one for that month was a little treat box and Let's open that up. Oh, this one's actually upside down. So this was <laughs> to be my first one that I created. Uh, so and yeah, we do have so, those little bags of Jelly Bellies. Oh, and they're ice cream flavored. How cute! Yeah. And they have donut ones as well. Well, they do over here. So that is so cute. I'm sure they do here. You know what? The next time you come to visit me, I'll have to take you to the Jelly Belly factory. Okay. Because it's like an hour from me. But yeah. Funny story. Um, a couple of years ago, we got those um, Jelly Bellies that have got those gross flavors. Yes. And uh, it was Christmas time and we actually sat around the Christmas tree after we opened presents and then went around each one where we had to um, spin a wheel and yep. Yep. pick one. Yeah. They are terrible. They're terrible. I think I got every single one that was bad. <laughs> they are so gross. Yeah, okay. Um, Hearts and Home was May. Okay. Which is, I love my Critters stamp set. So we have this card here again, another one with a belly band. And immediately when I see that, I think of a gift card because of the size. So and that yeah. Definitely fit a gift card in that one. So easy. So easy to add a gift card to that. Even if you don't put create a pocket for the gift card, you could just use a little adhesive and add the gift card to the paper. Yep. Certainly for so, whatever you're doing. So cute. And these were also the new ink colors that oh, we created. So nice. pop. We have Petunia Pop, which. Cute. 
How cute are they? They're so cute. Opens up, showing off that beautiful DSP as well. Yep, gorgeous. And then the third one was a little treat box. So, what do you think that is? Is that a hamster? I think that's a hamster. A gerbil, a hamster of some kind, something. I think I may have called it a gerbil or a hamster. So, yeah. And this oh. is actually a little bit different. So, it actually holds in. Oh my gosh, there's a box inside. Yeah, so there's a little treat holder here and we have a gift card that's held in with your die cut hearts. I'm telling you, this is like the coolest. So when she showed me this sometime back, I was like, how do you get it out of there? Look at, look how easy. And I'm doing this without even looking at it. It literally is so easy to get in and out. And I thought, I was like, oh, you're going to have to rip the hearts off. Nope, it just <laughs> pops right in and out. And then you totally could put, like, how cute would it be to put a gift card in the top to, like, a beauty store and then in the bottom put, like, little nail polish or lip gloss or, I, makeup why, why am I on the lip gloss hop today? I'm like. <laughs> put makeup wipes or anything like that inside. Oh, as yeah. Well. Super cute. And that's pretty in pink. So if you. I love it. You know what? Or... I'm going to next, well. When you're watching this, actually, I guess what we're recording this before we put it on air, but um, I'm going to be going to a house in Lake Tahoe to visit my mom and some of her sisters and her best friend. And it would be so cute if I made that for all of them with like a little gift card to something and then like a goodie and stuff. That would be cute. I should do that. We'll see and if that actually happens. And the great thing is, is there's so many little treat ideas like lollies or candy in little yes. tiny packets that you can stick inside there as well. Yes. So very so inexpensive cute. gift. And that's what I like about all my projects. You know, you can give these as just a thank you because they're not using a lot of supplies or, you know, and especially if you're using your stash, use what you already have, you know, yes. very, very, very well, small outlay. Right. And how often do we need just like a little goodie to give to somebody? I have actually a box in my craft room that has 3D projects I've made that are just empty so that if I am like hurrying and going somewhere or something like that, I can grab something, throw a little goodie treats in it or something and have it for housewarming or, you know, if um, what do they call it? Hostess gift. You know, you yeah. go to somebody's house for dinner, you want to bring them a little something. So. Yeah. And a small little gift like this, I think means so much more than a big gift yes. because people are astounded that you've, you've made something for them. Yeah. You know, it's the thought and yeah. Yeah, I agree. All right. So this is the last month for June. Okay. And I've, this is just a little treat bag. So I used the lavender um, set that, moved over to the new annual catalogue um, and the DSP that was in the mini catalogue in Lavender. But inside is a little flap. See how it goes over oh, itself? Oh, yeah, like curls down. Cute. So a double flap. Cute. And inside, I went out and I grabbed lots of Lavender gifts. So... Um, I did get a gorgeous grape and a Highland Heather. Oh, very similar God. colors. Have the two. Yeah. So, you know, you could stick a lipstick, any sort of treat sort of thing, but these are mainly like spa gifts. Yeah. And so cute. Put that in and show you a little bit more. I love it. And I loved this uh, ribbon. I think they've discontinued it now, but hopefully you've got some in your stash because it came in silver and gold and perfect for everything. Yeah. And here is oh, our I second. I love this. I love this. And yep. we've stamped all the way around the box, which is so cute. Yep. It has the diagonal split. Yep. So cute.
open him up. Aww. But this one's actually got a, oh, okay. um, a strawberry one, but there is a lavender one that I had in the other one. Very cute. I love That's it. One of those lip conditioners. I, I bet a little votive candle would fit in there too. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, a, a candle would be perfect in that. Yeah. Yeah. The really cute that's the second one and then the third one is a little pouch again using all the lavender yeah and then inside so cute. Masks. so you know you can pick these up really cheap and they're so cheap yeah very thoughtful little gift yes totally you know what that would be cute for too is like if you were either attending or throwing like a bridal shower mm. how cute would that be to like have all those little spa gifts for everybody in the theme of the shower absolutely very yeah. cute so but, that's yeah that's 18 18 projects wow 18, 18. And, and there is so many more on the creative vault so many more. So we should say, if you want to join the creative vault and become a member, it's $14.95 a month and you get multiple classes and stuff like that in there every month. But if you just want these six classes, you we're going to bundle them all together and you can purchase those for just $19 for just your first two weeks. After July 10th, the price will go up to $39. So you want to make sure that you grab them when you can. This is all U.S., by the way. Um, when I'm saying dollars, I'm meaning U.S. dollars. And so, yeah, that's that's what we have for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed. What do you think? I love these projects. So hopefully yeah. you guys will love them as well. Yeah. All right, friends, thanks for tuning in and hanging out with us while we showed you these projects. We hope you pick up Tracy's awesome 3D bundle class. We need to pick a name for it, don't we? <laughs> we do. Yeah. That's a little bit long. <laughs> <laughs> um, so anyway, we hope you guys pick up this class. It will be linked in the description below this video. And if you have any questions, please let us know. I hope you have an amazing day and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Thanks everyone. Bye.